<laughs> can you see it? I can see it. We're working. Oh, OK. All right. There we go. Have you All got right. snacks? I've got snacks. Good. I've got water. Uh, gloves, hats, coats. Yes. It's a little bit windy out there today, isn't it? And easterly. Yeah. Yes. So uh, we're out on the bike today. We're going to go to a place, I think it's called Paris Mountain. Mm, it is. Um, we're going to go and check that place out and have a look. Uh, we're just putting this one on there just to keep you guys kind of updated about what we're doing. Um, we're in Anglesey still on the as site wardens for those that are new around here. Uh, I'm Cathy, that's Darren. It's my day off. <laughs> it's our day off. And I'm vlogging. <laughs> just for you guys. <laughs> we're still going to put some of the Spain videos out, but we just kind of interrupt them a little bit along the way so that we can just keep updating you where we are. Uh, so this is our little... Garden. It's, it's our, our garden. garden, yeah. Our this garden. is where we are. So I'm just going to scoot around here so you can kind of see this yeah. is the little patch that we yeah. have. So it's... We've got the sun all day, the wind all day, <laughs> from that direction, that direction, it's just, we've, we've got our own um, inherited wind chime, thanks Susie and Steve, <laughs> I guess it's yours, <laughs> we fixed it. So, and a little bit of a sea view out there, here's the bikes, and then we're just going to we're going to get off out there. I'm a little bit of explore on our day off. Yeah, I need to do something. Yeah, we have to. Yeah. And, and we'll give you a little bit more of an update of how we're finding modern life as we go along on this little video. It's all right. Yeah. I'm going to, the only thing I am going to say is if you've got a motor home and if you're somewhere like this and it's quite remote, we do think that you do need a, a little car as a runaround. Seriously, don't you? I um, think so. Yeah. yeah. Like we're, we're beginning to believe that's the best way. Yeah. So, but we've got the e-bikes for now. Let's get out there and let's go explore. Let's go. Let's get freezing. <laughs> So we're on a little bit of a discovery trail today. We don't know what's down here. We've only been here eight weeks. Just starting to lose the dafts. They're just going over, but they've been so pretty with the gorse. Whoop. The blackthorn's starting to flower now which is beautiful. A little bit sharp today with the easterly that we've got, but quite pretty out the, out the wind. There's a hill over there we need to do one day when it's clearer. 5025 right. There is a path just to the right, but we're gonna try the road. So slightly longer route this one. Hello. But um, so much, so nicer to be away from that traffic. Pedal forest. Go forest, go. What we got? We got lots of goldfinch this morning. Yeah, it's not rained for a couple of days, but there's still a lot, a lot of water coming off the land, working its way down to the rivers and back into the sea. It's a nice bit of grass. It's like turf. Could be turf grass. Oh, look at the uh, wind turbines. We must have the wind behind us. I can't wait to turn round. <laughs> it's probably not windy just there. <laughs> so, that's what we've come to see. Is this your route? Yeah. Okay, well we can have a look. Do not disturb. Japanese, oh that's a cracker. Japanese knotweed control site. Do not disturb, please keep out. Never seen one of those signs. 
I'm hoping you're going to stay down. Uh, what, up here? Yeah. Well, it doesn't look too bad. Right, one turbo. Seems that that's the way we've got to go, all the way up. He's up there, look. Let's go catch him up. <laughs> I've lost a bunny. Don't stop now! Keep going! Keep going! <laughs> Keep going! Who think this is e-bike territory? What a bizarre landscape. Yeah. So I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> Excuse me. I think it's an old copper mine. Copper? Yeah, it yeah. could be copper. But look at the colour of it. It's absolutely beautiful. And look at that. Yeah, reds, oranges, browns, grey, blues. There's some kind of bridge over there and a turret. And then if you keep going round, it looks like it's the old shaft over there. Yeah, back of mine shaft. And some kind of little brick building that's over there. I don't know what that is, but we'll go and have a look in a minute. But yeah, I mean the colour is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, there's a lot of people up there to say it's a Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. I just can't get over the colour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The colour's not quite the sun's not quite hit that side yet. No. But there was a notice on the front as you come in, and it, this is an old mine, and it does say that entry is at your own risk, isn't it? So. Yeah, well, it just depends where you go poking around. Yeah. I mean, it looks like it's pretty well passed out. Passed out? Path, paved. Ah. Like a foot, there's a footpath, pretty well pa laid out. Paved. Paved way. Yeah. Paved. A paved way. Pa passed. So. All right, God, say. Anyway, you can walk up here and it's a good route round. And there's arrows which show you which way to go round. So I'll just show you, look. You can go down into it there. Not sure if I fancy that one. When you go all the way down, you've got to go all the way back up. So, yeah. This is an old copper mine from the 18th century. So. That, the, the, the rock just behind you there, that's quite, very, it's very difficult to focus on. Yeah. Makes my eyes go <laughs> really, I don't know. Uh. Just a shame it's so windy because this would have been absolutely beautiful with the drone up. Uh. So we're just gonna have to come back another day, another time when uh, when the sun, when the wind isn't so ferocious. When the but, sun's not so ferocious. Yeah, <laughs> as we were cycling up the wind turbines, um, they, you could hear them going oof, oof, oof. It was just like, weren't they? They were just so noisy. You yeah, you can there. see them in the distance over there. Look. But uh, I've never heard wind turbines so noisy. Well, I don't think we've ever been so close. Close, no. You can feel the wind through it. <laughs> but yeah, so let's go have a little bit of a walk around this place and see what else we can see around here. I'll buffer you from the wind. <laughs> well, we've just come um, past a little sign and it says on there www.copperkingdom.co.uk. So I've just had a look at it. And it says that this used to be the largest copper mine in the whole world and its abundance resulted in the growth of mining, shipbuilding and a chemical industry in this small corner of the island. And it said this became, um, it was the copper rush town which was almost as uh, like huge as the Wild West gold rush towns. Mm. How amazing is that? Mm. Fantastic, isn't it? All of this in a little bit of Wales. 
So I think we've decided that this really isn't the kind of place where you should bring a bike. Um, there's not really anywhere that you can leave the bike. Look at that. It's so windy. The wind's just blown my bike over and it snapped me phone holder on the bike. <laughs> Gutted. <laughs> oh well. Stuff happens. Sure. Not sure if it's a, tri a chimney. A windmill. Or what? Windmill. The windmill powering the rope down the mine shaft. Very clever. And there's the uh, underground passageways. Wow. There's the Paris mine. Twenty kilometres underground passage passages. Just small, small drifts to get to the uh, copper seams. And it stood up well for the test of time. It's a windmill. Is it? It's a windmill ah. and it uh, was for generating power to to power the cable for the mine shaft. Really? Yeah. Oh, how amazing. There you go. Did now, it tell you that when you was up there then? Yeah. Yeah, inside. It's a bit dark, but yeah, you could, there's a couple of things inside it. Oh, cool. And then there's a, just the other side is a trig point and you can see... Uh, the sun on me face up. Al Am Almwick. Am Amluk. Amluk. Is it Amluk? I think it's Amluk. <laughs> I'm not sure. Could be. It could be. Well, but that's what I could see anyway. Right. So I got the OS up, and but then I met, uh, bumped into a local guy and his doggo. Oh right. And he says, "What are you up to, like?" And, uh, and I said, "Oh, we're doing some YouTube video for our channel, the Babbling Brooks." There you go. <laughs> Did he subscribe though? Well, I don't. I didn't have any cards on me or anything. <laughs> I'm a little bit unprepared. It was so windy up there. It was really difficult to hold a conversation, to be honest. Yeah. It My was... bike's blown over twice. Oh. Oh. Again. On the 2nd of March, 1768, a great mass of copper ore close to the surface was discovered at Paris Mountain. A local miner who was present at the discovery was rewarded with a bottle of brandy and a rent-free cottage for life. It's hard to believe that the huge chasm in front of you was created by people armed with little more than pickaxes, shovels and gunpowder. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Lying beneath are many miles of tunnels, shafts and vast caverns. Low metal prices since then have hindered the further development of this important UK source of zinc and copper. Large-scale mining began here in the 1770s. If you go to the Heritage Centre, you can pick up some leaflets for some self-guided walks up here. We should have done that first, I think. <laughs> 
Oh, there we go. That's us back. How far was that? I do you know what? I didn't even actually check. It 10, was 11. It's about 11 miles there and back from the site here. So it's right. not bad. Yeah. It's a good little adventure in three, four hours. Yeah, not bad. It's right. Come back, sun shining, blue skies. What more do you want? Mm, not this easterly wind though, because it's a little <laughs> bit chilly. Yeah, it's not so windy down here as to what it is like on that mountain. I say it's a mountain, it's not actually officially a mountain, it's just... No, it's too small. Yes, it's a hill, yes. um, but it is called Paris Mountain. In fact, the local guy that I spoke to on the trig point, yeah. he said that all his friends over the other side of the Menai say that you've got a beautiful hill in Anglesey ah. and the only point of the hill in Anglesey is so you can sit and look in awe at the Snowdonia range <laughs> <laughs> but that's just mate's talk <laughs> but it was quite funny yeah no, that's good that's quite nice so we've got the rest of the day and then we're back on shift tomorrow yep uh, it's it's quite warm today it's quite windy i guess it's going to be a little bit drier tomorrow so we'll be back to mowing and strimming Absolutely. and painting and yeah we're on the early shift tomorrow so we're on toilet clean whoop, whoop. so we're on at eight and and how are you actually finding warning just to give everybody just a little insight of how you're finding warning it was it, i think the first few weeks was quite tough the weather was against us uh we did a lot of fence repairing and, and a lot of physical work, 16, 17, 18,000 steps a day. So yeah. I was quite, quite tired. Yeah. But the interesting thing was I was burning 2,400 calories most days. Yeah. So I was actually burning more calories than I was eating. So I had to walk me uh, calorie intake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you could have just gone with a bit of weight loss. To be fair, you have lost a little bit of weight. <laughs> a little bit? <laughs> yeah. Uh, only a little bit. Oh, no, <laughs> yeah, ah, right, you know okay. what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, no. So it's very, it's very strange because like, we've come from office jobs where we were probably luckily to get maybe three, 400 steps in a day to all of a sudden you're averaging about 15,000 steps a day. So yeah. on our days off, it's really hard to, we kind of reversed it. Normally on our days off, we'd be out exploring and walking miles and miles and miles. And now it's hard to try and find that energy to get yourself to do something on your well, day off because you've, you've, you're so tired from yeah. 15,000 steps a day. <laughs> your body's ready for a rest. Yeah. And it needs a rest because you know you've got another five and a half days on yeah and and you've got 80 odd thousand steps that you're gonna do so yeah yeah so but in a nutshell i think we're enjoying it aren't we it's been it's it's good um yeah. like i said earlier probably the only downside is you if you're in a motorhome and you're in a remote location as a warden you really do need a car um there's not, I mean, you can walk a couple of miles into Marlborough from here and catch the bus from there and then do it that way. But it's just, yeah, so just to, just as a consideration, a, a yeah. car probably would be the better option. Shopping, we're getting delivered. Yeah. So we used one of the um, major supermarkets. And we've uh, got... Which are red and blue. Um, <laughs> and, and not the green one. No, not the green one. <laughs> or the orange one. <laughs> no, no we're using the red, we were using the red and blue one, but, but then they messed us about with some stuff. So we went to the green one <laughs> that starts with a letter A, and they're quite good. <laughs> they're quite good right now. They're, they're, they've got good delivery. Most things are in stock. Yeah. Uh, and, and they don't mess about with swaps. No. And so the only other thing as well is we've gone back to a food delivery service um, because we have yeah. had quite a few times where we've not got the shopping that we needed and so therefore we've not got the meals that we were planning to do. Yeah. So we've gone back to a meal delivery service. St and starting with G. <laughs> Stop. And, it, and it's a big red box. <laughs> we're white writing, but there are others out there. <laughs> but this is the one that we prefer. <laughs> but we're Shut not sponsored. Up. We're not sponsored by any of these. <laughs> and all brands are other brands are available. Right, anyway, stop doing this. <laughs> Sign out, say to ra and we'll catch you on the next one. Ciao. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that?